What's up, guys? This is Parker from the Fast Foodies Podcast, back with another review. Just got back from the gym, and yep, still within that 30-minute anabolic window. So, time to get some protein in me, and what better way than with a protein review? You know, Ghost Lifestyle just came out with two seasonal flavors. They came out with hot cocoa and sugar cookie. And since it was a pretty brutal leg day, I thought, why not try out both? That's right, we're gonna be trying out two protein shakes today. Ghost Lifestyle Sugar Cookie Way and Ghost Lifestyle Hot Cocoa Milk Chocolate Protein Mix. Time to feel these gains. So, here are the powders for both of them. I'll show you guys the hot cocoa one first. As you can see, there's actually mini marshmallows in there. And I think they're gonna add mainly more of a textual component than anything. I'm really not expecting too much of a strong marshmallow flavor from them. But you never know, Ghost Lifestyle may surprise us. And here's the frosted sugar cookie. As you can see, there's actually specks, or no, there's sprinkles in there, which should also add a nice textual component. I really like protein mixes that or protein powder that has some type of textual component to it, whether it be bits of cookies or in this case, mini marshmallows or sprinkles, even if they don't add too much to the flavor, it's just nice to kind of change it up and it's not just a regular protein mix. Now, we'll start off with the hot cocoa protein mix first. And I did mix both of these shakes with uh, water, not milk. Um, if you guys want more of like a creamier flavor, then you might want to use milk, but I just wanted to see what the protein powder itself tasted like, so I'm going to use water. Already got a shake ready to go, starting out with hot cocoa first. Shake it up. Now, the hot cocoa does have 130 calories per scoop and 20, 20 grams of protein and 7 grams of carbs, so you're getting a good amount of protein in me. Let's get in to the taste test. Wow, that's actually pretty nice. It's definitely not as rich or as creamy as normal hot chocolates as you could imagine, but I did find that the marshmallows do actually add somewhat of a milk or marshmallow-like flavor to the hot cocoa. It's not just in there for textural reasons. You, they definitely do add a slight flavor component as well. The chocolate wise, it's kind of your standard run of the mill milk chocolate. There might be some slight variance to it that adds a kind of hot cocoa taste. However, in the water that I tried, there wasn't too much of a difference between this and some other milk chocolate flavored uh, whey protein. However, with the marshmallows, that does add a slight twist that I do enjoy. All right, on to round number two, trying out their sugar cookie. Now their sugar cookie protein is 150 calories per scoop. You're getting 25 grams of protein and also seven grams of carbs. So you get five more grams of protein in one scoop of this uh, instead of this one. So let's get into the taste test. You got a shake ready, mix it up. I made sure to use the one with the white lid for the sugar cookie, so I know which one's which. Oh, wow. I think I like this one a little bit more than the hot cocoa. You get a really nice kind of like sweet vanilla flavor, kind of similar to the frosting on the sugar cookie. It's not, you don't really get that kind of doughy flavor, you know, when you have the sugar cookie, you have the, the frosting on top, and then you have the cookie itself. You don't have too much of that cookie taste, it's more of that frosting taste. And you can kind of tell that you're gonna get that, especially by the sprinkles. I do like the sprinkles. They add a really nice crunch to it. And you guys know whether it be my peanut butter or protein powder, hashtag team crunchy for life. But yeah, it's a pretty nice sweet protein powder. If you don't, if you're not, you don't have a huge sweet tooth, then you might wanna steer away from these, especially the sugar cookie. This one is pretty sweet, but I have quite the sweet tooth. Uh, so I, I enjoy it quite a bit, and I'll definitely be getting in enough gains with both of these protein powders. 
that's for sure. Uh, hopefully, I won't have small legs forever. We'll see. We'll see if these can help out with that. Anyway, on to the most important part of the review, why you guys are all here, the final rating. We started with the hot cocoa taste test first, so we will rate this one first. Now, keep in mind, I would probably give a normal milk chocolate protein powder probably between anywhere between a 6 and a 7 out of 10. But I'm going to give this one a 7.5 out of 10. Now, on to the one I liked a little bit more, the Ghost Sugar Cookie. Now, I'd probably get rank of vanilla slightly higher than a chocolate protein powder, but I really did enjoy this one. So I'm gonna give this one an 8.5 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you wanna hear more, check out Fast Foodies Podcast on Apple Podcasts and Spotify.